My name is Mark Horton, and I'm the principal at Red Hawk Elementary School. Red Hawk's a, a very unique place. It's a school that is very family-oriented. The families are very involved in their students' education. We have an EL population. We have, just like every school, we have socioeconomically disadvantaged students. And, you know, our drive and our calling is to, to make a difference in their lives, regardless of their background and, and regardless of the story that they bring in the front doors of the school. At Red Hawk, we feel like if we're gonna meet the needs of every student and not let any of those students fall through the cracks, we felt like we had to have a plan. So we sat down with all the teachers when we brainstormed everything that was holding us back from being successful. Finances, um, time, the number of students in a classroom, and so we said to ourselves, we've got to develop a plan that overcomes these specific issues. We were able to create three tiers of intervention of support. At the tier one level, we have um, teachers and their first instruction, instructing the kids, and that is made up of excellent planning, um, formative and summative assessments, and then those assessments driving their instruction. Then we move into that tier two level. So we have something called Walk to Learn. And so four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, for 45 minutes, we rotate kids based on their specific needs. The teachers have analyzed their work and their assessments, and they've grouped those kids accordingly so that they can get instruction at their specific need. And Imagine Learning plays a key, key role in that. During that Walk to Learn block, EL students consistently are receiving Imagine Learning and they're working um, with a, an auditory process, a visual process, and then a vocal process where they're interacting and utilizing all of their modalities to be you know, supported through their gain of academic knowledge. It didn't take us long to realize that this is not just a good program for second language learners. This is a good program for any students that are struggling. We found a software program that wasn't just something they sat and watched, it's something they interacted with and that made a huge difference. Imagine Learning is an awesome program for my students because all of these students have special needs. And Imagine Learning, it uses visual, auditory, um, verbal cues. So it's using all of those different modalities for phonemic awareness, reading, comprehension, fluency, and it really keeps um, the students in my class engaged in learning. Instead of it being a static Program. It's much more dynamic in a sense that they have immediate feedback and it helps pull them out and hones in on also what their levels and skills need to be. So let's say we start with an 80 students initially. From those 80 students we have 30 students head into the computer lab where they're interacting with Imagine Learning, whether EL students or struggling students. From that now 50 students we're pulling 10 more out of our regular ed classroom into our special ed teacher's classroom where she's working with students on Imagine Learning. And now we have gone from 80 to 40. And we have three teachers left. So Mrs. Moore may have 20 students to one, Mrs. Lafarga may have 15 to one, and Mrs. Jamison may have five. What that allows us to do is really decrease our class size, allowing the teachers to support those students exactly where they're at. When we look at our API scores, with our EL students specifically, those students consistently on Imagine Learning went up 64 API points, and it made a huge difference. And not just because they were on it, but because of the results from the data that Imagine Learning gave us back, then we could really platoon down to the specific needs that those students had. Then, at the Tier 3 level, those teachers utilized the data they received from Imagine Learning to explicitly teach and support those students where the needs are. As principals, it's our job to recognize the expertise and the resources that we have at our fingertips. And the teachers play a huge role in that. Our classified st staff plays a huge role in that. And for us, one of the key components of us being able to decrease class size in an effective way and meet the needs of students at all of their various levels was our ability to find a software that would do just that. And for us, one of those software pieces that's making a huge difference right now is Imagine Learning.